Thank you. When it got to the 70s, ourselves, the Earth, Wind, and Fire, some of the other Sly and Family Stone, who was influenced on all of us, had music where you can dance and it was still rock and roll. You know what I mean? It was dancing. And so we went on and on into that. And as the funk band started coming out, they really started dancing. And that became money for the companies. The companies tried to isolate the part of the record that m worked, that made it dance. So your first notion is that it's a drum beat. But it's, the mistake is that it's no one drum beat. When they start isolating to one drum beat and one sound, don't nothing get on your nerve more than some rhythmic that's the same thing over and over again. I mean, it's like making love with one stroke. You know, so to tell you the facts that in. No and the machine age sort of took its revenge, I think, on music. And disco music became the antithesis of what music used to be which was a way to communicate. The music, instead of being a, an anthem or instead of being a voice, became an accompaniment. It was almost the anthem of alienation. Halls were full of people who were mindlessly dancing to a rhythm that was basically a machine. I think that it was kind of hard for the white people to get into R&B music because the beat is so sophisticated and and hard for you know for for the kind of dancing that that what that white people are used to doing. Um, this clearly defined beat that so that is so apparent in, in disco music now makes it easier to learn to do what you know our kind of dancing. Then go right foot in front, right foot. Left foot, right foot, left foot. Having fun? Most rock and rollers that I knew had a real problem with disco. I like a lot of disco music, but I detest most of it. And I hate disco, I really hate it. I just remember disco and hating it so much. Number one, you could do it all on machines, so you didn't need any people. And that put a lot of people out of work. Uh, the record companies wouldn't give us a second look. Uh, so what, what we really didn't have any choice other than play disco music, and uh, we weren't about to do that. <laughs> disco got so big, and it was generic, I think the record companies didn't have to deal with the personality. They didn't have to give those big contracts like they had just had to do with the rock and rollers. They made it real big. And with rock and roll, it was a drastic, violent, violent, violent reaction to disco. A huge box containing thousands of disco records was blown up. Fans stormed out onto the field in the thousands. Disco records were hurled like frisbees. Bonfires were set. Fist fights broke out. Our goal in the 70s was to destroy disco. You know, we wanted to see that. We saw that as a terrible menace to music. Nice, man. Go. What you need, man? Chopping up the old uh, drum machine, are you? You know, we, 